Okay guys, this is better than Soul Fucky 7. And if I'm more you guys it is 13 Fox, so we battled. Um so you just started with Crowbat, I started with um I just try Scarf Moltres and I go for the overheat knowing that it would be enough to kill the Crowbat. Because of Moltres' high special attack, plus the stab and overheat's huge power. So then he goes to the side on and during the Stone Age, I switched to get my top to resist the Stone Age and get me turned it off, but fortunately for me, it misses. And then he goes for the, uh, he switches into Jifflin to, um, dodge the close combat. So, I switched into Red Steel, thinking that he really couldn't do anything to Red, uh, Red Steel, but he used the Hypnosis. And then he switches to Bastard on, so I switched into the Hill Tank. I just go for the curse, not knowing what that bastard on is gonna do. But it goes for the taunt, so I'm forced to attack with hammer on. But even with four times weakness, um it survives with quite a bit of HP because it has bulky defenses. And then it sets up the stealth rock, which really bugged me. Because that means my mouth just could come in again and revenge kill anything. So he bring the hammer on again, he switches into Rotom, but I predict that and I go for the body slam. And now I predict the Will-O-Wisp, so I switched into something that wouldn't mind taking it, which was, um, Miss Regis. Um, so that was a... Yeah. And this was, he told me afterwards that this is a real time that, um, he used to beat the game and not the real time he wanted to use, so... Yeah. Anyway, I sub as he switches in Bastard on, and I'm still taking enough damage from hitting, um, burn, so I just... Hidden power to get rid of the bastard on and not just gonna and not waste any time. Yeah. And then he switches in his drift flame. And I didn't want it to break my sub, so I tried to go for the combine, but um unfortunately for me because of Miss Mage's poor HP, uh, Shadow Ball is enough to break the sub, along with the super effective times two weakness, so yeah. And then, uh, predicting the Shadow Ball, he switches into Absol, and with the plus one Shadow Ball that still does mm, about half to it. And now I know he was going to suck a punch, so I switch back into um, Hitmontop to get the Intimidate, and to avoid the Sucker Punch. And then he switches back out into Drift Flam, predicting the um, Rapid Spin. And then he gets a free Thunderbolt off of me, which still doesn't do much because him on top is supposed to fit pretty good. And this is a different rapid spinner from all the rest because this one has foresight, which means you can actually pull off the rapid spin. But unfortunately if they switch it doesn't work, like it just showed here. Yeah. Um I was feeling the Willow Wisp again, so I switch into Altaria. And he does go for the will o -Wisp, but that's okay because this is a walling Altaria that, um, has Heal Bell. Um, then he just starts to get, uh, go for the Thunderbolt just to get some damage off of me. And I go for the Heal Bell to wake up Rich Steel and heal the status off Altaria. And next we go into this really irritating Star Ward that's just annoyed me to no end. Yeah, so it just goes for the, a second burn and that just um, forces me to use another tent to kill bell. Um, yeah, then it goes for the um, uh, thunderbolt to get some damage and I just go for the dragon pulse because I want to kill this stupid thing. But both time is pretty bulky and it doesn't even do doesn't really do that much. Yes. Yeah. Three bolts. I lost. And this is gonna go on for quite some time. It seems that every time I battle this guy, we always enter in some long stalwart that's really irritating. And it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, so I go for the heal bow to get rid of the barn again and 
knowing that he might be able to su he survive another Thunderbolt. So I just go for the Roost again. And at this point, uh, I'm like screwed already. And I was thinking he might go for another um, Will the Wisp again. So I just switch into Miss Magus. Because Miss Magus doesn't mind being burned. And I just want to show this stupid thing already, so I just go immediately for the Shadow Ball. And down goes Spiraltom, finally. Okay. Um, next he goes into his Absol, and either, no matter what I did, if I switched out the stuff box would have killed me, so I just let him die with some Sucker Punch. And then I switched back into Hitmontop to get the Intimidate off it again. And predicting that he would switch out into um, ghost, a ghost, I go for the foresight. So now there's nothing he can do that will um, avoid me getting the rapid spin off, except that he uses hypnosis. Yeah. And then he goes to the shadow ball, which does less than half. But luckily for me, I wake up this turn and I get the rapid spin off. So yeah, that's pretty good. And then I go for the Sucker Punch thinking that he was going to Shadow Ball me again, but instead he went for the Hypnosis. So I just go into Red Steel to wall this thing because I know it really couldn't do anything to it since um, him and was already asleep. And if you put Red Steel, it's a very big sleep cause. So he switches back into Red Superior and I just set up Stealth Rocks already because I really don't like that Drift Limb. And then I switch back into um, hit him on top again to just get the Intimidate off this right period because it's dangerous. And I think he was predicting a switch or something because he went for the Fire Punch. And then he Stone Edges, but I guess he didn't have Earthquake or something, so yeah. Anyway, looking for me, I wake up on this turn and I get the Close Combat just to get some damage off on this thing. But after the defense drop, Stone Edge is going to be able to kill me. But that's okay because his main purpose was to wrap the spin and he doesn't have Bastion on again anymore so he can't stun um, him any more stealth rocks. So to wall this, try to wall this thing, I switch it to a tank and I go for the Curse. And he tries to Mega Harm me but it misses, which is pretty good for me. So I go for the Curse again and this time he hits with Mega Horn. But it, after two curses and no tanks bulky defense and HP, it doesn't really do anything. So he switches into Drift Blam. And I predict, um, I just went for the safe move here and went for another curse. So it's plus three attack, plus three defense, minus three speed. And this Drift Blam is just annoying as heck because it gets the hypnosis off again. And then he just tries to kill Mill Tank. Or get a boost in the process. Um, with this next move. He goes for the Silver Wind, which actually does I think more than the Thunderbolt did. And I'm still sleeping and he Thunderbolts again. And I'm still sleeping. And he Thunderbolts again. And I was hoping to god that I would wake up, and fortunately for me, I do, so I get the milk drink off. And I'm able to heal quite a bit. And I was praying to god that he would miss hypnosis, and luckily he does, because I just did not have the patience to go through the Star War anymore. But unfortunately, Body Sam isn't quite able to KO, so I was hoping again that he would miss hypnosis. And he does, so that's really awesome, and down goes Drift them. It was annoying as heck. And at this point in the game, he does not have anything that can touch this mill tank. Nothing at all. So, he sent an Absol and it goes to the Super Power, which does about 100 damage. But I have the Hammer Arm, so um, it's able to KO um, Absol. And then he goes to his last Pokemon, which is Rhyperior. And he goes for the stone, he's just trying to get as much damage off as he can, and probably hoping for a crit. Well, I go for the 